Welcome back. Okay, let's face it. Jewish kids in the U.S. may be able to sing a few Israeli songs. Maybe they can recognize a few songs in Yiddish. But given that most American Jews descend from Ashkenazi or Eastern Europeans, our children rarely, if ever, hear songs from Sephardic Spain. Well, recently, some Jewish American kids had the chance to hear one professional Jewish symphony serenade them with the soothing sounds of the Sephardim. Here's JLTV's Cheryl Kahn. <laughs> The sounds of the symphony, with music so mesmerizing, so exciting, it captures the attention of even the most restless young audience. But this isn't just any group of musicians, it's the Los Angeles Jewish Symphony with a mission to educate and entertain. Well, the Los Angeles Jewish Symphony is dedicated to performing music that speaks to the Jewish experience. And what is that Jewish experience but the human experience? So our repertoire spans a, the Jewish culture, Jewish composers. On this day, the symphony's performance is tied into a lesson about Sephardic Jews, with a cantor who emigrated from Argentina performing as guest artist. All the Latin American has that passionate soap opera thing. I mean, it talks about love, no? About love and about uh, very, very deep feelings. And I have a friend who always, uh, they tease me and say, you guys, you in all your songs, you have the word corazón, which means heart. And it's true. I started to look at all the songs, you know, and they say the word corazón, which is heart. It's a very, very passionate and from the heart uh, culture. Every time you, you realize that you're, you're not alone, that there's other people like you, and that the, the Latino culture realizes that there are Jews who speak Spanish or a language that's very close to Spanish, it makes them feel more familiar, it makes it feel like we're brothers rather than strangers. For musicians like Beth Elliott, it's a chance to play the music they love on a regular basis and teach others to appreciate that music, like this group of school kids who packed the synagogue auditorium dancing and singing along. In nine classes of children that I trained, uh, we had no Jewish boys or girls. We had two Jewish teachers. So I was their first contact with what Jew being Jewish is, and the music I was teaching them was their first contact with Hebrew and Sephardic and the whole, all of it. And they were so receptive and, and so excited. The music was Jewish and Spanish also. Did you know that that existed? No, not really. What do you think about it now? I think it was great. I thought it was good. I thought they really like got in, into the Mexican and the Latino type stuff. So I think it was. I thought it was really fun. You know, we talked a lot about how people are the same because I think the minute you see yourself the same as someone else, then you can see that they're not bad and they're not against you and they're not evil and they're not wrong. That it's okay to be different, and yet it's okay to be what you are and it's okay to be friends. In Los Angeles, Cheryl Kahn for the J Report. Let's count all together.